There you two go, all tucked in and ready for bed. Is there anything else I can get you? Can you read me a story? Okay, I'll just go get the books. Okay, which of these stories do you want? Minecraft Beginner's Handbook? Minecraft Construction Handbook? Reluctant Adult? Oh no wait, that's for when you're older. Never mind. Hmm. Why don't I just tell you a story from memory? Hmm. Oh, how about you tell us about the time that we met Roxanne and we became the best of friends? Oh Goldie, that was only last month. And you know how the story ends, you were there. Please, I love the way you tell that story. Well, I do introduce a lot of elements that have nothing to do with the dog. Okay, I'll tell you. Hooray! It all started on New Year's Day. Christmas was over and the decorations hadn't been put away yet. And I remember that vividly because Sonic would not shut up about it. Guys, it's New Year's! Christmas is over! We need to get rid of the decorations now! Of us. If you now, if we do them now, get the lead. The other readers, he'll be. You okay there, Sonic? The Christmas decorations have to go before Miles sees them and have, has us all cancelled on Twitter. Now, come on, everyone, let's all hop to it. Why should we help you? You're the one who did all the Christmas decorating. Yeah, and you didn't even do a good job of it. Oh man, Christmas is right around the corner, and I haven't done any of the decorating. Um, uh, there. Ready for Christmas. Besides, what's the point of celebrating Christmas for two months if we're just gonna forget about it the next week? Look, I'm just trying to protect everyone from Miles' crazy bullcrap, alright? Now I'm gonna go and prevent the wrath of Twitter. Now anybody who wants to join me is welcome. So, any New Year's resolutions? I'm just gonna hang out with the wife. What about you? I don't have any goals anymore. I'm just gonna keep on existing. You're only 21. And the happiest I'll ever be. Anyways, new year, new me. Got myself a nice alias look, and I'm feeling fat. I just want to listen to the effects all day. Oh yeah. I hope you don't mind me interrupting, because I still don't. Oh, hey Sonic. Are you supposed to be Bonnie, or are you his gay cousin? But this outfit doesn't make you look gay, does it? Just whatever, what do you want? Look. Look, just take this and bury it in the back garden. But why? It has to be disposed of until December. But why can't you do it? Because I don't want to. Look, this whole thing was your idea, so you're on your own. But, but, uh oh, here he comes. But, no, it, Sonic, come back! What is that I see? Well, this Christmas decoration that Sonic threw at me. I don't know what you said, but I heard Christmas, and that is illegal. No one should be celebrating Christmas in January. Dispose of it now. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's right. You go do that. By the way, the 80s called. They want you dead. Hey, well, uh, no, never mind. No, it's okay. You can ask me anything. I was gonna ask you if I could play with your dog, but, hmm. I'd rather not. She scares me. No, it's okay. I, you can play with me. I don't bite. I mean, I might burn you a little bit, but it won't be on purpose. No, I'd rather not. I'll see you guys later. Oh, come on. I'll even let you rub my belly. How come you never let me rub your belly? Because you never do it the way I want you to. There we are. Good boy. Good boy. Uh, Zachy, can I play with your dog? Oh, of course, man. He's very friendly. Go for it. Alright. Um... <laughs> ah, your dog is so big and scary. 
Uh, sorry little bro, but you know me. Big guy like me has got to have a big dog. That's how I live my life. Big. Hmm. You know what I could do with? My own dog. Yeah, I'll get myself a dog, but... How am I gonna convince Freddy to get me one? Goldie, can you help me with something? Sure, Freddy, what is it? Can you help me put this controller back together? Yeah, sure thing, Freddy. Just... Yep, just take that. Just put it in there. There we go. Thank you. Can I get a dog? Well, just because you helped me put this controller back together. No, no, I mean... I mean, seriously, can I can I have a dog? Goldie, have we... Have we not talked about this already? I know, but... Look, raising a dog is not as fun as people make it seem. They require a lot of money and effort to keep healthy. Well, I have you guys to help, help me out. Well, I think I speak for the rest of us when we don't want to spend our days looking after your pet just because you want one. But- No buts, Goldie. You're not getting a dog and that's final. Oh, come on. I really want a dog though. If you want, I'll give you Cooper. I won't even charge you anything. Just please take him off my hands. Please. No. Uh. Boy, have Sonic leave me to do all the work by myself that he could have easily done himself. Oh well, at least I'm back now. It's, it's cold. What's that noise? Is that? Hey little buddy. Are you okay? Oh, come on, come on, let's get inside. It's alright, you can trust me. Come on, get, the, the, get in the house! Jeez Louise, talk about trust issues. So, Foxy, how do you feel about Bonnie changing himself into an 80s guy? It doesn't bother me. Why, does it bother you? No, no, I just thought it was... It, it's a drastic change. I was just wondering how you guys felt about it. Well, if Bonnie wants to change his appearance, then I say there's nothing wrong with that and nobody should tell him otherwise. I never said I was against it. I'm just trying to acclimate, that's all. Hey, Freddy. Oh, hey, Bonnie. Still not digging the 80s vibe? I promise I'm getting used to it. Calm down, man. I'm just dressing you. Um, Bunny, what's that behind you? Oh, well, um, uh, right outside I, I found this dog and, um, well... Oh my god, she's adorable! Look at her! Oh, you're such a cute thing. I wanna, I wanna pet you and stroke you and, and do all the other innocent things you can do with a dog. What did you mean by that? Oh, you know what I mean. Bunny, why is there a strange dog in the house? I didn't have a choice, Freddy. She was outside all on her own. She was freezing cold. Oh. Oh, you poor thing. Look, I'm sorry, Freddy. I know how you feel about dogs at the moment, but I had to get her out of the cold. I completely understand, Bonnie, and I appreciate that, but we can't let Goldie see her. If he does, he's gonna think she's for him. Oh my god. Oh, well, look at that. Freddy's about to do exactly what you said he would do. Mm-hmm. Um, that dog. She... She is beautiful. She is everything I could want from a dog. <gasps> oh my god, even though you said you wouldn't get me one, you got me one. Oh, oh, she's perfect. Thank you, Freddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. No, thank Goldie, you, she you. is not your dog. <laughs> what? Oh, of course you got me a dog. I mean, why else would there be a dog here? Why would you? I'm sorry, pal. I only brought her in because she was by herself with no owner in sight. Well, they're a loss, I guess. Goldie, you can't just claim ownership for someone else's dog. Well, maybe this isn't someone else's dog. It, 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 it could be... It could be a stray, you know? 
Well, even if that is true, we still won't be keeping her. She'll stay here for tonight, and then in the morning, we'll find out where she came from and send her back. Is that understood? Fine. Come on, you can sleep in my bed tonight. Oh, no, 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 no. She is going to sleep on the floor. And, Goldie, since you want to take responsibility for her, if she isn't toilet trained, you'll have to clean up her mess yourself. Come on. I just want to... I just want to thank you for Mm-hmm. Okay, was the toilet thing really necessary? Goldie must learn that no happiness comes without misery. A lesson I think we can all learn. No happiness comes without misery. Ow! Why did you hit me? You're miserable, and I'm happy. I guess you're right. Oh, little Dark Wolf, you're just the sweetest little pet ever, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You, you, you. Oh, hi, Goldie. Oh, hello, Uzi. So who's this gorgeous specimen? Huh? Oh, uh, it's a new dog. Bonnie found her last night. I'm trying to get her to play with me, but every time I move closer to her, she keeps moving away from me. Hmm. Try putting your hand out. What, what do you mean? Like that. This. Like this. Yeah, just bend your hand out like that, and then it'll come to you. She'll start to trust you. It's working. Oh. It worked. Uh huh. The most important thing when meeting a new dog is establishing trust to show that you're not aggressive. Hmm. Huh. Thank you, Lucy. No problem. Does she have a name? Oh, I, I didn't even think about a name. Suppose I could give her one. How about, hmm, Roxanne? It's a pretty name. She's pretty. What do you think? Is it good? I'll take that as a yes. Oh, I guess that would work. Roxanne's a pretty name. And she's pretty. Like me and Dark Wolf here. She may be dark, but on the inside, she is a thing of beauty. Isn't that right? <laughs> oh, you're so cute. You're such a cutie. I don't know what anybody means when they say you're creepy and weird. Oh. <sighs> okay, you know what? I'm just going to say it. I do not understand the appeal of Fortnite. Well, I mean, the the gameplay loop is pretty fun, and uh, the character roster is hilarious. It's got a little something for everyone. Eh, all the same, I'll probably just stick with Splatoon. I, I enjoyed the gameplay for that game a, a bit more. You have a point, Mario. I can understand why you'd say that. Hey, guys. <laughs> Hello, Bonnie. Have you found the dog's original owner yet? Oh, for God's sake, why is everyone forcing me to do everything? Hey, now, you are the one who found the dog in the first place. Well, you're the one who's so insistent on getting rid of her. Why don't you do it? Ooh, fine. But you brought her in, so you're going to be the one who has to take her back. Deal. No, no wonder he, he hates Fortnite. He's so terrible at it. He's never going to get that FNAF collab. Well, you're right there, Sin. Hey, Goldie. Oh. Hey Foxy, oh look, look, look what I can do. See the shoehorn, Roxanne? See the shoehorn? You want the shoehorn? Go get the shoehorn! Good girl, Roxanne. Good girl! Good girl! Wow, seems like you're having a lot of fun together. We really are. She is so... Oh, what's she doing now? I think she wants you to give her a belly rub. Oh, is that it? You want a belly rub? You want a belly rub? Rubbing your old belly. Whoa, what are you doing? Oh, oh, oh you're so sweet. You're so cute. You're so um, cute. Am I interrupting something? <laughs> oh, hello, Bonnie. Well, it was hard to track down her owner, considering the fact that she had no collar with a tag on it or anything, but 
I found them, so now I'm gonna take her back. Wait, you mean take her away? No. No, you can't take her away. Oh, Goldie, I'm, I'm just taking her back to her real owners. It, I'm not gonna take her by force. No, you can't take her at all. She's where she belongs. She belongs with her real family. And we are not them. I'm sorry, Goldie. I, I know you like spending time with her, but she is not your dog. She has to go back to her to her real family. Only if I get to say goodbye to her first. Goodbye, Roxanne. I've only known you for less than a day, but it's one of the happiest days of my life. It's thanks to you. Don't, no, please. You're just gonna make this harder. You have to go now. Out of my life. Without my consent. Come on. Let's get you back. I'll never forget you, Roxanne. It's okay. It's okay. I'll never be the dog as good as her. You will. You will. Done. Well, I guess playing Fortnite with him is a bust. Oh, that's logical thinking there, Sin. Man just had his heart crushed, but we don't get to play Fortnite with him. Boo hoo to us! Goldie, I know you're upset, but I'm telling you, this was for the best. Why did you make her go away? She wasn't ours, it wouldn't have been right to keep her. Oh, I'm never gonna see her again. Never, 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 never. Hey, Freddy, I kinda need to talk to you about something. <gasps> Roxanne, you're here? Even though I was just talking about how I was never gonna see you again? There's no way! Okay, so what happened was... Yeah. I missed you. Oh, I missed you so much. Oh, I'm so happy. Bonnie, you were supposed to take her back. I, I tried, but when I got there, there was nobody in the house. It was empty. So either they packed it up and shipped it, or someone was committing tax evasion. <laughs> I couldn't find any other information on her, so as far as we're concerned, She's a stray dog. Well, that means we can keep her, right? She doesn't belong to anyone else. Bonnie, can you give us a moment? Okay, sure. Goldie. No, Freddy. Just once. Listen to what I have to say. Look, you say I can't have a dog because I don't know how to take care of one. Well, I took care of Roxanne. I gave her a name. I played with her. I made her feel happy and safe. And if there's something I don't know how to handle, then other people are happy to pitch in. So why can't we not just keep Roxanne? Because I, 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 I'm, I'm not sure she's safe. But why? I, I just don't think we're the best people to take care of her. Why? Because, because I don't trust you, okay? I know that's a bad thing to say, but how can I trust you when I can't even trust myself? Trust yourself with what? <sighs> with you. Goldie, ever since Mother asked me to take care of you, I spent every day worrying that I was going to screw up. I was going to say something or do something that would hurt you and I worry that one day I'm gonna do something that will screw you up majorly and then all of a sudden there would be nothing left for me to take care of 
that feeling scares me more than anything, and I don't want you to have that feeling, especially for a dog that makes you so happy. Freddy, you... You really feel that way? Yes. I know I'm not exactly helping things by never giving you a chance to prove yourself. And I'm sorry. I just feel like such a lousy big brother. Are you kidding? You're the best big brother a guy could ever ask for. You make me feel happy. You make me feel safe. And you make me feel loved. I think Mother would be really proud of the way that you're taking care of me. You know what? Coming from you, Goldie, that means so much to me. So, what are we going to do about Roxanne? You know what? Maybe I was wrong. She would be better with us. You mean... You mean she can stay? She can stay. <gasps> Did you hear that, Roxanne? You get to stay with us forever and ever and ever and ever and ever! <laughs> <laughs> oh. However, I do have two conditions. You must never make her feel neglected, and she's still not sleeping in your bed until we can prove she is toilet drained. You got it. Oh, isn't he the best, Roxanne? Oh, hey. Uh, so, the name's Roxanne? Yep. Oh, you're actually quite sweet. Oh, maybe a little too sweet. Hey, whoa! What is she doing? You, she wants you to rub her belly. I can't see her belly. She's laying on top of me. <laughs> Help me! Okay, okay. I just let you in. Don't make me kick you back out again. Come on, stop it! Oh my god, come on! Come on now, stop it! Hello there. <laughs> she really does have a lot of hair. What is up with that? I, I don't know. Maybe it's natural? That is not natural. Well, neither is being on fire, so who's to say? <sighs> Those two are perfect together. I don't know what I was worried about. I've never seen Goldie this happy, and... Roxanne, I've never even seen a dog that happy. He takes after you, you know. He's well-spirited. He's kind. And yeah, he makes mistakes along the way. He learns from those mistakes, and ends up being a better person for it. Even better than before. Thank you, Foxy. And you're right. This really is the start of a beautiful friendship. Hey guys, um, uh, how long do dogs live for? Oh, um... A long time. A long, long time. Good. I mean, if it turns out it's not even that long, I'll still love you forever. And the rest, as they say, is history. But what would become of Roxanne and the little boy who adopted her? Well, why don't we ask them now? <laughs> well, what became of them were the happiest memories of their lives. I couldn't agree more. And that is the story of Roxanne. I love that story. Tell it again. No, I can't tell it again because you two need to go to sleep. Now, good night, you two. Freddy? Yeah? Thank you for letting me keep her. I love you. I love you too, little bro. Now go on, get some shut eye. Okay. And I love you, Roxanne. Come on, come on. <laughs> You're the bestest friend I could ever ask for. Good night, Roxanne.
played. The 80s called. They want you dead. <laughs> 